<laughs> Quiz time, bros. <laughs> Ugly as it is, what's wrong with that picture? Hey, those pistol-packing pug uglies belong to Limburger. Meaning something's a little ranker than usual in the sewers today. Yeah, well, hold your breaths, bros. We're dropping in. Got company, baby. Gentlemen, it's been real. I'm in the mood for lunch. Just because I can't smell you. Okay, now that I'm all set underneath the atomical power plant, all I got to do is vacuum out the aluminum. Uh, um, uh, linoleum. Uh, uh, uranium? I think. Whatever. <gasps> Smokey the Mouse says only you can prevent nuclear disasters. Yeah, let's flush this filthy felon, bros. Right down the sewer drain. Oh! <laughs> attacks use goods. Attacks! Yow! We got some flotsam in front and gentlemen back. I thought she scattered my spits in the middle. <laughs> Bested the motor mount mices. But then again, maybe not. Let's rock and sail to whip some tail! I'm sorry, Grease Puddle. My appetite's for victory, not defeat. Oh, yes? Then I'll just vacuum those dust bunnies into forever Neverland. Three wet months. See how they dwell. <laughs> Dang, Mouskies! One play left, Rose. Throw the long bomb! And Lardling's my primary receiver! <laughs> Speaking of victory, old Limburg is about to get the extra point. Boss, how do you stop this thing? Grease What are they? Oh, there you is, boss. Uh, uh, you want I should report under your inner minimum heights now? Uh, never mind, you squalid grease squirt. The outcome is distressingly clear. Now get off! <laughs> ah, Bunko! Overflowed <laughs> the penthouse commode again, your velvety voluminousness. 
I've had it with those miscreant mice, Carbuncle. Something has to be done. Oh, I beg pardon, but uh, uh, the odor is even more stifling than usual. <laughs> In fact, it smells worse than... Uh, worse than a... Uh, worse than a, a Plutarchian lawyer! Enough about that. A Plutarchian lawyer? What a splendidly slimy idea. If I can't fight those matted-haired heroes outside the law, then I'm forced to do it within the law. Get me? Counselor Provolone. <laughs> Immediately. Yes, your sour creaminess. <laughs> As if it doesn't stink enough around here already. Very Provolone! As I live and gag. And, uh, might I say, you reek worse than ever. Every eye-watering vapor is a testament to my extraordinary success, Limburger. A level of overripe prominence you'll never achieve. I'll argue that. <laughs> um, let's get to the point of this case, my putrid pettifogger. I assume you perused Carbuncle's communique regarding... Those Martian mice. Easy fix, you boorish bait bucket. I'll simply throw the book at them. The book, you say? As in criminal conviction. But those rodents are annoyingly law-abiding hooligans. Law-abiding? Ha! Everyone's a potential lawbreaker. Some just need a little persuasive guidance. <laughs> 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 This is the Red Zone. Citizens arrest! Citizens arrest! Ugh! I hope that was the signal that he wasn't just picking his nose. <laughs> Citizens arrest! Right here! Hey! Look at what I got here, my Saronis! <laughs> Not for long. Let's blast this grease monkey. Your bikes were found parked in a red zone in a blatant disregard for traffic laws and therefore have been illegally impounded. Red zone? Whee! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that smells like one foul Plutarchian frame-up. <gasps> <gasps> Why, thank you. Oh, and please direct any questions you might have to the city impound's newly appointed superintendent, Lawrence Limburger. Pedestrian. <laughs> 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 We just got a couple of questions for Superintendent Limburger. Yeah, funeral home preference? Mm, next to Ken. As I always tell the judge, I beg to differ. Grease pit? Let him have it, you goons! situation with style. Oh, this ain't looking too good. Let's vamoocerate. I agree. Quit pro. Quickly. Uh, Put it right there, Lube Lips. Now, either you release our bikes... ...or we'll release you from them. With pleasure. Attention all units. Please impound vehicle encountering armed resistance. Please send back... Looks like we're getting the Chicago Blues, bros. Hey, officers! Top of the morning to ya! <laughs> What's up? And so, Your Honor, without argument, we must, I repeat, must observe the parking ordinances of this great city called, um, uh, this memorable city known Chicago. as, uh, uh, Chicago. Many thanks, Mr. Lafferty. 
Today it's a red zone, tomorrow it's shaking down parking meters. I object. Leading the judge. Then on to accosting public servants who dutifully intervene. Uh, objection. Insinuating circumstances. Roaring past toll booths. Uh, unsupported testimonial. Turning the youth of America into annoying, offensive, leather-wearing, tough-talking, easy riders. I subject. Uh, obstruct. Uh, Oversustained. Uh. There is no debate, dispute, or discussion about it. No order in the court. These bikers parked in a red zone, and thus are clearly guilty. Therefore, the defendants will pay a fine of $300. <coughs> Somebody please open a window. Uh, oh. Your Honor, we don't have that kind of money. It's just us and our bikes. Oh, very well. <coughs> Bailiff, retain their motorcycles and impot until the fine is paid in full. I'll repeal! We was framed! I'll take it to the extreme court! This was all uncircumscribed evidence! I'll habeas their corpus! I'll... Easy, bro, easy. Yeah, 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 hey. chill, Vincent. Now, the judge made a decision, and we're gonna abide by it. Yeah, yeah, in the meantime, bros, we sincerely gotta find us some money. Well, yeah, cause... Cause there's no way I can handle this. Does that change anyone? I kinda like it. Mass transit mice from Mars. Now, would you make a play mess with the Hmm. With those Martian motorcycles impounded in Limburg Plaza and those marauding mice now afoot, I can concentrate on delivering that promised load of uranium to Plutarch. Right, right. I'm off the clock, so who gives a rat's head? E plebius unum QED, Limburger. In other words, here's the bill. Ah! Oh, oh, oh! Hmm. Um, slightly inflated, don't you think? Similar to your head and ego. If you're cash poor, you ponderous Plutarchian embarrassment, you can just sign over Limburger Tower to me. A branch office in this prestigious area might not be a bad idea. I'd rather fry first. That would be good, too. Bah! Now listen carefully, my dear Greasepit. I want you to sneak into the atomic power plant and plug this device into the nuclear power generator. Got you, boss. <laughs> Once done, you simply push the green button. Not the red button, the green button. Is that abundantly clear? Uh, sure thing, boss. The, the, um, uh, green button? Excellent. Carbuncle assures me this will simulate a nuclear meltdown. Public panic shall ensue. Then, with the city in turmoil, I shall generously volunteer the services of Limburg Industries to remove the dangerous uranium. <laughs> remove it all the way to Plutarch. Hmm, let me see. Um, no. Now, get moving, you blubbery buffoon, and avoid pushing the red button, lest you start an actual nuclear meltdown. Uh, now, now, let's see. Red or green? Which is which? Uh, the boss said, um, uh, oh, picky, picky, picky. I'll do this one. Yeah, yeah. Everything is hunky dory. <laughs> So now what? Recheck the job opportunities? Seeing as we have no useful job skills except for being Martian macho mice, there's only one thing to do. Right. Let's watch the ball game! We interrupt for this special news report. This is the latest on the unexplained accident at the Lark Park Nuclear Power Plant, which is just minutes away from a complete radioactive meltdown. Meltdown? Whoa, bright lights, no city. Yeah, and lots of hot real estate. With the nuclear meltdown imminent, Mayor Weekly has ordered the evacuation of the entire city. We can't just stand here and do nothing. Check. I mean, we are heroes after all. Bikes or no bikes. Right. Where's that bus schedule? Guys, <clears throat> give me a hand here. But you heard Chicago's a microwave oven set on high. I know, I know. You're going to need these to stop it. Whoa! Sweetheart. Well, thanks to some shield plates from your spaceship, they're bullet, bomb, and radiation proof. Patent pending, of course. Oh, I got dibs on this one. Suit up, bros. Let's rock and, and hitch a ride. Hunker down, bros. We got us a little pre-nuclear disaster cramming to do. A real meltdown. 
The High Chairman specifically ordered one contained batch of uranium, not two, not ten, and positively not an entire contaminated city. He can be so neurotic at times. Uh, uh, pardon me, your oven-baked brain ass, uh, but uh, should we not uh, uh, evacuate? Oh, oh, what does it matter? I'm fish fin flambe in any case. Join me, my loyal degenerates, in viewing the final moments of my fading glory. <laughs> Oh, oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love it. Meltdown in 40 seconds. <laughs> kind of artistic, eh? Whoa! Syndrome City! The pressure cook is about to make a beeline straight for China. Meltdown in 30 seconds. My guess is the fuel rods are stuck. They'll have to be pulled out manually before this whole place melts. Yes, yes? You're guessing? Give me that book! Don't! Okay, I guess your guess is as good as mine. Knock, knock. Meltdown in 20 seconds. Well, let's just hope the warranty on these suits doesn't expire before we do. Meltdown in 15 seconds. Are you sure your friends can handle it? Hey, they trashed your kidnappers a while back. They can handle anything. Although, that's when they had their bikes. Which, by the way, are now sitting in City Impound on a bogus charge. Really? Well, if they can handle this, I can certainly handle that. Five seconds. Four, three, two, meltdown over. Have a nice day. Yes! Yeah! Woo! All clear. I repeat, all clear. They did, did it. it! Well done. Now let's just see about those bikes. Oh. <laughs> Good night, stinky prince. <laughs> My gaseous fragrance wafted me to my rest. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, poor Mr. Limboiker. I knowed his smell. Ah, uh, uh, listen, uh, Doc. If it's all the same to you, I'd just as soon take you up on that evacuation idea. Do my beady little eyes deceive me? It would appear that a nuclear winter has been avoided, your fat fortuitousness. <laughs> it has? No kidding. Ow! Well then, let us return post haste to our original plan, to steal the uranium for Plutarch. Uh-oh, boss. We got three little problems. Them toothy tailbacks is back! Oh, really? Then we'll just have to stop them in their little mouse tracks, won't we? <laughs> Ready, Vincent? Do process on its way! Now then, let's do some liberating. Yeah. Oh. This harmless piece of paper is simply a court order requiring me to release the impounded motorcycles? What? No! No, 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 no! Don't let those vengeful voles take their vehicles! No! Darlings, we're home. No, you imbeciles! No! Your errant blasts are demolishing my tower! Well, my work is done, Limburger. I demand payment in full now. You slippery scale shyster, you failed! I'll pay you nothing, not a zip now! Get out! <laughs> okay, you greedy guppy, you win! Here's the deed to my tower, land excluded. Debt paid in full. Goodbye! Oh, no, you don't! Oh. Meet your terms, exactly. No, no, I don't accept it! Ha, I beg to defer. Quit, squid, calamari! Of tootsies. 
Time for closing arguments, bros. Yep, right to the point. The defense rests. <laughs> At least till next time. Yeah, now let's get back to the garage and take off these itchy tin suits. Ooh, I heard that, buddy. But first, ooh, I've been waiting all day to say this. <laughs> let's rock and ride! <laughs> <laughs> uh, gee, Councilator Provolone, do you think I could file for job-related stress? <laughs>